Hey guys, I'm Buffoon and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about why I think that this new YouTube policy about having to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand views a month is a good thing, okay? Sorry about my voice, first of all, I'm a little bit sick, but um, I'm going to just jump right into this. So, when I first read up the the YouTube policy, right, I was a little bit like, oh, uh, okay, well, like, it's, I was like, I was hesitant a little bit to say like, okay, well, this is a good thing, you know, but like now I'm, I, I feel like being a small, smaller YouTuber myself, right? I barely made any money on the platform. I've made like a couple cents and even those I haven't even seen a penny, you know, cause YouTube just doesn't send them to you. You need a, you need a network, you know, um, if you're going to make any money, first of all, right? And a lot of the better networks won't partner with you until you're at at least a thousand subscribers, you know? Like, there's freedom, yes, but, like, freedom, I found, isn't that great. I've been with freedom before. Not not that great, in my opinion. Um, their videos seem so, like, the guy was like, hey, how's it going? Blah, 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 blah. And it was just, it was so, like, it was so fake. So, pretty much, I think that this is a good thing because... It, it encourages a lot of YouTubers to to do it because they, they want to do it because they see themselves as doing it as a long term and not just to make a couple bucks. And yes, for some people, like, they, they, they do have fun on it and maybe, like, they just, they want to get that money, you know? Like, and I understand that, but at the same time, you need, you need to sort of face it, like, is the money that you're making, right, truly helping you? that much once you even hit a thousand subscribers it's not even a lot of money right like it's like a couple cents per video right and so like you really need to sort of like go is this a good amount of money you know do do i need to just get a job while i pursue this you know do i just wait and just pursue it you know can i wait and pursue it you know and like if you are going to do it as a job, then yeah, wait to pursue it. Or you could go and get a side job while you do it, you know. Whatever works best for you, whatever you can balance best, right. But you should not be thinking about the money. And a lot of YouTubers have said this. You should not be thinking about the money when your channel is big as mine. Or a channel as big as 300 even, you know. Like 300 maybe it's a little bit like, okay, you know what. I kind of want to start making some money right here. But at the same time... Um, it's kind of difficult to monitor us smaller YouTubers. You know, it's it's a lot more difficult for YouTube to monitor us, and um, that's that's where like all of the bad stuff on YouTube comes from. It's like smaller channels that don't have as much subscribers. You know, because they can just get past YouTube a lot easier. You know, like we're not the the Paul brothers or anything, but we can still get past it because we're not noticed. You know, we are not noticed as much by YouTube. Unless we get, like, a video that has, like, 20 million views, we're not noticed by YouTube. We're there, you know, YouTube will, will they have, like, programs to help you, but those are pre-made, you know. Like, YouTube, even with the whole apocalypse thing, the yellow dollar sign, I've seen it on a couple of my videos. You need, like, a couple thousand subscribers just to, just to contact them or whatever, which personally... I think it's stupid, but at the same time, you know, like, you shouldn't be thinking about the money. Like, I, I demonetized my videos for the past, I want to say six, seven months. No, five months. I'm going to say five months. I've, I've had my videos demonetized, and before that, I had my videos demonetized for a while as well. Just because, like, I saw no point. It was just wasting time, you know? It was just like, people would click on my videos, see an ad, and then it was just like, well, why? You know, I wasn't making any money off of it, so there was no point. Like, you just, I think that it gives a lot of us YouTubers more motivation to keep grinding on YouTube for those thousands of subscribers. Because 1,000 subscribers, that's a big milestone, you know, and you should feel very accomplished when you hit it. And I think that this will just make it feel more accomplishing when you hit 1,000 subscribers, because it's like... But, right, you can't make money on the platform, and then you hit a thousand subscribers, boom, right? You're just like, you feel so accomplished, you're like, yes, now I can put ads on my videos, let's go, right? If if you don't have the views for subscribers, you know, then it's kind of like, eh, but like, 
if you got the views, you know, then you will be like, you will be like, yes, I got this, which the views can be pretty easy to reach. I have a friend who, um, he just started uploading again, by the way, uh, link in the description, go subscribe to Samofrage, hashtag shameless promotion. He just started YouTube again. Um, and before that though, he hadn't uploaded for like a couple months, right? And he got 3000 views in the past month right so he's like he's almost hit that margin where he can continue making money on youtube so it's something that like you will get there if you keep trying okay i've seen a lot of big youtubers say yeah it sucks but from my point of view it doesn't suck from my point of view it gives encouragement it gives encouragement for people to not be all about the money and be about the platform you know Everything that we do on this website should be about the platform, not about the money. I think that's the reason why the, the, the Jake Paul and Logan Paul, you know, they do all this crap is because they put the money first. You need to put the platform first, okay, not the money. If you enjoy doing it, you will do it without the money. You know, you won't care about the money. Currently, I'm trying to build a PC. You know, that's why I haven't uploaded in a while because I've been focusing on that. I've been focusing on saving up and everything, you know, but like you really need to just think and be like, okay, am I doing this for the money or am I doing this because I like it because it's fun, right? That's really what you need to think about if you're going to pursue a career on YouTube is am I happy doing this? Am I having fun? Because I think that if you're not happy, it will really show through. If you're not happy doing YouTube. Don't do it, okay? If you watch other YouTubers, you know, maybe that brings you joy, joy. Maybe you'd find joy in a different type of channel, like a reaction channel or something, you know? And that's another thing that you have to find is you have to find what content am I happy with? Because you guys will notice I switched to gaming from, or I switched from gaming to vlogging, just like that, you know? And it may have been kind of, um, may have been kind of like crappy for some of you guys. Some of you guys maybe not don't like the vlogs, you know? And I'm sorry, and I hope that I can bring the gaming content back soon. I've, I've had a couple gaming content, but I can't do the live gaming content as of right now, as my laptop crashes a lot during it and just lags a lot. Hence the reason why I'm building a PC, also so that rendering doesn't take an hour. But, like, you just... And I've said this a thousand times, remember, think about the platform, not the money. My final reason is that... There's not an infinite amount of ads on YouTube, especially after the ad apocalypse. A lot of videos don't get ads just for the fact that they can't put ads on your video. You know, companies pay YouTube money to put their ads on their on their website, you know, but YouTube won't put an infinite amount of ads on their website. You know, the companies will have to pay them a lot more than that if they wanted more ads on their platform, you know, like the company just pays them like, maybe they pay them a certain, they probably pay them a certain amount per ad, you know, for every ad that is on YouTube, they, they get, say like, they get like $1 per every ad that's on YouTube, right, which is probably a lot more than that, they probably get like paid like a thousand dollars per ad, you know, but they're not going to pay, they're not going to play more ads than that, because then they're just giving it free promotion. That's not what YouTube is. YouTube isn't going to give them free promotion because then what What are they going to pay you with, you know? And so a lot of smaller YouTubers take up that ad space. But now we have time for the bigger YouTubers to, to sorry, I'm burping a lot, to monetize their videos and actually have the ads that they that they need on this platform. You know, the bigger YouTubers have made it their job. We have not. We have not made enough income from YouTube to make it our job yet, okay? Maybe it's enough to buy you, like, nice things, you know? Like, maybe it adds on enough to buy you nice things and stuff. But that's probably alongside a job. Or alongside, like, maybe you pitch in helping your, your parents buy you stuff. But it's not, like, not enough to live on yet. But that's going to be the end of my video, guys. If you guys liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and become a buffoon. Also known as subscribing. I'll see all you guys in the next video. Bye.